video and today a quick unboxing and a, a, a sort of first impression if you will I mean I've, let's go, I'll get into what I've got as you can see at the top of the video um, letting Stamp de Golan put on the Elder Puffer or the Extreme as it used to be called uh, this stream bottle um, now I have had the original well the vintage juice with it, the black outline of the bottle I have had that uh, the original as I say and I think I finished that bottle seven eight years ago <laughs> um, then I purchased the older toilette um, same, same bottle obviously but it's clear um, and then I dropped that bottle and I had to decant it into like a um, like a splash bottle if you will and uh, the one you know the regular ones you can just buy empty um, finished that one maybe four years ago three or four years ago uh, so I haven't had one since of the or extreme so this I haven't had this for probably seven years uh, and they have moved him into the um, Galan's Ideal Man bottles but I saw one of these I thought you know what the rest of my collection as of right now apart from Ideal Man is all in these so I thought why buy the new bottle when I've most of my collection of this one so I had a bit of a sort of 10% discount plus a bit more uh, to use so I thought you know what it's time that this was back in my collection so I'm, I'm so glad I got another one of these I mean I've been buzzing for one of these for ages um, just to buy another 100 mils of one of my favorite Golans honestly um, the uh, Extreme was possibly my favourite girl and then we'll see what this one is like whether it's been reformulated or whatever it probably has at some point I mean it's been out of 10 years maybe so yeah, at some point it's, it's, it's going to have to have um, so I'm assuming it has since that original bottle that I had um, I'm so glad to have you back in the collection even if it's not quite as good um, I really enjoyed uh, this one and the outer toilette but this one the cocoa was a bit more and it was a bit more rich um, so I can't smell it which is a good thing because uh, it means a nice fresh bottle so this is my scent of the day I'm so glad to have this back Oh, a little bit more citrusy than I remember. Oh, it's, it's definitely changed a little. I would say there's a bit more, a uh, bit more spice, a bit more citrus. Um, the original was very sort of rich and dark. Um, I say dark, it's rich. It's definitely changed for what I remember. Although saying that, it's I mean the initial blast was some I remember being so citrusy. Um, I say so citrusy. I mean it more than there was. Um, okay, now that's past, I'm starting to get that DNA of leech coming through. Definitely more, as I say, more of a citrus hit to start with, and a bit more of like a patchouli uh, thing going on. But now that cacao is starting to come through, I can start smelling that coming through. Uh, just sitting there on the skin, but close up. Don't get that cacao so much, you get more of the uh, citrus and the uh, spice. But in the air, yeah, you get that sort of, it's sort of like a star anise um, cacao, like a powder, you know, like um, chocolate powder. Like that's more what, what it smells like. Um, for what I remember, the, the original spell, smelled a bit richer than this. Uh, well, that could be memory. I mean, a long time ago. And uh, for, right now, the, the, the more it's drying down, um, the sort of more richer it's could be coming. So maybe um, it was just the opening that they've changed a little, or maybe just my memory. Oh yeah, that, that, that's um, cocoa powder really starting to come through now. Uh, yeah, it, it was always one of my favourites, so I'm going to give this 
uh, a good try, a good chance. Uh, I don't, I'm not into buying um, vintage when the price is stupid. Um, even if the, the sort of reformulations aren't very good and that, I just, just then don't bother with a fragrance. I'm not into, uh, I don't mind hunting down uh, vintage juice if the price isn't too bad. But when it's silly money then I just, I'm just, there's other things, you know. Yeah, I'd love to go and get another um, pure malt and pure Havan brand new, you know. But like 150, 200 pounds for a bottle, nah, nah, it's not worth it. I mean, I've got other things that I want to try and buy. And I've had them before, it'd be nice to have them, but no. I'm so glad to have it back. I mean, they say this was my favourite girl, Anne, and I haven't had it in ages and ages and ages, so... I'm hoping that um, the sort of newer formulation, uh, which I'm assuming is a newer formulation, is just as good, you know, almost as good. I mean, I'm happy with almost as good. I mean, uh, I love my Yopom, you know, memories for me uh, in the, say, mid-90s. And it's not as good as it was, um, but I still like it, you know, still performs well. It's all right, it's no shadow of itself, really. Um, but it's it's still good, um, you know things like that. Um, Acquadigio, I think is still good. It doesn't last as long as it used to, but it still smells like Acquadigio. I do like it. I I haven't got it at the moment, but I will. Uh, well, uh, and, and you can get this, the idea that El Sauvage and the one of everything has been uh, reformulated and nowhere near as rich and, and opulent as they used to be. But um, as long as they're near enough, you know, the, the, as long as the reformulation hasn't literally butchered it to where it doesn't smell like it at all, uh, then I'm good with reformulations and not paying silly money. Um, but I will pick up uh, vintage or discontinued when they're at a decent price. Um, but this one, very nice. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. It does feel a little bit watered down in comparison. I remember this being quite thick and rich. Uh, you put two or three spades of this on and that was you were done. Um, this one smells currently right at a this moment a little lighter. However, today's hot. It's like 32 or 33 degrees here in the UK. That can actually have a big impact on how a fragrance is. I mean this is more of sort of autumn cooler weather where it's not sort of burning um, off your skin so much and there it gets a chance to sort of settle and, and, and just leave the wafts of instead of like burning off quick so we'll see how it goes throughout the next uh, year, couple of years when I wear this um, I'm going to review this probably when I maybe get a third the way down the bottle or something I want some uh, real time with this especially over um, autumn so maybe I'll uh, give a review some time, uh, sort of winter time, and see uh, if I still think this is the best girl and for me. So that's it. Let me know if you've tried this one um, and if there's any real difference from the original. Um, do you get much of a difference at all? Uh, do you like it? Not like it? Have you ever tried uh, Leeds Extreme? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'll answer you if I can. So. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Hopefully I'll see you again soon in the next video.